Jones thought, but this is the best song this year. He's live, he's lovely, he's Finley Quirk. Son of composer Cab K and rumoured half-uncle to Tricky, Finley Quay combined Rasta themes with the new phenomenon, trip-hop. And he was thrust into the limelight after a surprise collaboration with the iconic dance music pioneer, a guy called Gerald. I remember meeting Gerald in Manchester. I would have been about, yeah, 18, 19. I would, you know, wait days sometimes in his studio, you know, whilst he was working until he had some downtime to have a jam with him or something. And on one occasion, I put a vocal down over one song that we put together and he put it out on a white label. And I hear on the radio, basically, and I'm thinking, what? This is me. And then the, the DJ says, that was Gerald, and that was Finley's Rainbow. And I thought, wow. The surprise of Finley's Rainbow had installed a newfound confidence in Finley to become an artist in his own right and step forward into the 90s music scene. Put the band together from, from some musicians I knew in Manchester. We were like the only Rasta band in the country for a long time. I don't think there's been anything like it since maybe, maybe Aswad or but Bob Marley and the Whalers, certainly. So it's quite revolutionary for, for, for the time. His debut album, Maverick A Strike, achieved critical acclaim, and it was the first single, Sunday Shining, a take on Bob Marley's Sun Is Shining, that shone through. I worked with a girl at EMI, in a &R, and her boyfriend signed Finley Quay. And she gave me the cassette of his album and said, what do you think of this? And I remember listening to it and thinking, oh, it's sort of reggae, but it's got pop accessibility. It's not, you know, it's, it was just a hybrid of pop and reggae. It was just unusual. We had Ace of Bass doing their sort of cheesier version of reggae and other people doing it, but there was something authentic about Finley and I wondered if it would do well. I didn't know at first listen it was going to be this as big as it as it went. Sunday Shining is like some sort of you, you can't even call it reggae. Marley did Sun is shining, the weather is sweet. Well Finley Quay did Sunday Shining sort of psychedelic. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was just mad. It's unusual for me to hear someone do a take on a Bob Marley song in that way and have success. I remember Rita Marley giving us the blessing on that track. And up until that point, I think the Marley estate was refusing every, every single request, you know, to, to do a modification or a cover of anything of, of Bob Marley's. It was just rejected. And we got the blessing, gave us a really generous percentage so there was like lots of little signs that we were heading in the right direction and just to continue in that direction and it was, you know, it was all going to work out well. Finley was really hot at the time. I mean, that was, you know, that was his debut hit and it was, you know, all eyes on him. It, he was the, the, the brand new talent that could have gone anywhere at that point. I personally think Maverick A Strike is a great British pop album and I will call it a pop album because it became that popular and it was, it was that different. But my favourite on that album is Even After All. I think Even After All is a bit of a masterpiece. The smooth grooves of Finley Cry and Even After All. connected with the public with that one. He does um, resonate with people like none of my other songs. It was just love conquering hatred or anger, patience, compassion, 
against good against evil, I guess. You know I love you so. You know I love you so and so. Even after all war. You know, you can mess with reggae music, you can mess with it. There's no rule that says reggae has to be the same. It was unusual to see um, what Finley Craig was doing, the pair on top of the pops. That's probably why audiences really embraced it that year. Maverick A Strike went double platinum, with Finley picking up both a Mobo and a Brit Award. I didn't expect the, all the, the accolades and success, to be honest. I mean, if I could have just just had a little career and just got by, I would have been happy, you know. You just survive, soldier. I don't know if um, Finley was favourite to win the best British male in 98. It was always a big thing, the best British male at the Brits. He beat Paul Weller, he beat Sir Elton John, and he beat Robbie Williams. One word. Wow. <laughs> 